Greetings and salutations. Earlier I was doing this video on uh, Linux Mint and trying to kind of describe the uh, breakdown the versions of um, you know cinnamon ma mate they they pronounce this I've heard this pronounced like five different ways mate and then the uh, XFCE edition and I did quite a bit more research just to make sure that my understanding was correct on the um, the difference between the variants. So the the way to best describe this is I got three different tabs up here. Um, each tab is has a screenshot of each edition, and so cinnamon is is the most um, graphical user interface intense. It's the one that's kind of most represents the Windows 10 experience as far as like Windows transitioning between each other and the way when you click on icons the the um the shading and the transparency and so it's it uses something like 25 percent memory bandwidth to uh, to utilize the extra graphics within the, the user interface now mate is a uh, you can see like here the example down here in the bottom left you can see there's less less frills and the um, the user interface is just a little bit more streamlined, but the functionality between all three of the systems is the same. It's just the system requirements to run each edition is is less and less as you scale down. And so the lightest weight edition is this FC uh, F. I'm sorry, XFCE edition, and you can see or down here in the bottom. Uh, it's even a more stream kind of looks like Windows uh, what was before Vista 98 it was like oh, it almost looks like a Windows 98 it's so streamlined um, but you can kind of see but everything all the functionality exists in all three variances of the Lin the Linux mint family it's just the the graphical user interface interface is more streamlined and um, less memory dependent. So I hope I hope that ugh, man, I cannot talk. I hope that helps you um, with a kind of a brief summary of the differences between the three versions of Linux Mint, uh, Cinnamon, and XFCE. I don't know why they just don't call that light. Um, you know, light, medium, and heavy, right? <laughs> but um, it, and I think I think to be honest. I kind of I kind of like the mate, the mate. Um, even though I'm running a cinnamon edition myself, like you can see right here when I expand, I kind of like the how, how the streamlined version of the mate is. Or even I might even do a reinstall of the um, XFCE edition. But they're all the same. The functionality is the same. The software application is the same. The software manager is the same. Um, what you can put on the machine as far as uh, applications like Discord and Steam and running clients and uh, your 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 workflow, all that stuff is the same. It's just the icons and shading and system requirements are minimized as through the different variances. All right, um, I think this is going to be my last video on uh, Linux. I've actually been debating uh, going back to Windows. To, um, to play some Conan Exiles. That, that's kind of like my main game. And uh, I, Linux, for whatever reason, BattleEye isn't supported under Linux. And so like, a couple of those key games that I enjoy playing, like um, Battlegrounds um, and Conan, you know, the Unreal uh, Unreal uh, Engine 4 runs runs amazing in Linux. It's just... The, the the secondary uh, cheat software doesn't, and so it's it's kind of given me some issues. But um, I don't know. I'm still I'm on the fence. I I, I like I like kind of playing around with what uh, the the um, Linux software suite has to offer. I'm getting uh, very efficient in how the workflow works. It's just uh, there's a couple limitations that I'm I'm. I'm not happy with you know, and if I wait six more months, I might be fully functional. You know, I might I might need to not ever go back to Windows. But 
it's just not quite there. It's like an 80% or an 85% solution for a gamer at this point. And, um, you know, if I, w if I never played any video games, uh, I, I could con con convert over and never look back at this point. I mean, I have full printer support, full Adobe, or I'm sorry, PDF um, support as far as I'm tracking. I think there's a few little peripherals that, that don't work correctly, but um, for the most part, you know, the graphics suite is right on point with GIMP and Linux, I'm sorry, uh, Inkscape and um, Blender. You know, you can pretty much, the workflows are a little different, but you can pretty much do whatever you need to do. Um, you know, it supports all the resolutions, 3D graphics work well. So it, it's it's an 80% 80, 80 solution right now. But um, it just needs, a, the as far as the PC gaming goes, and, you know, and Steam's pretty much the, the biggest contributor to the development of this. But um, it's getting there. It's almost there. You know, two years ago, it was a 40% solution. And now it's an 80% solution. So I'm definitely happy. Um, and I can't wait to look forward to the day where I, I never have to look back and touch another Windows machine again. All right. Um, if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. I realize I rambled a little bit, but I'm really focusing on trying to get my key topics across and not dump all my time into video development and editing and and just really use my time wisely so you know to play video games of course all right if you uh, like this kind of content please like and subscribe thank you for watching